just pulled into Champaign Central High School where I used to work and coach and of course very nostalgic to go back to somewhere you used to work. So this year's online clinic format is a little bit different. The content, same. But instead of traveling one place to have a whole bunch of guys meet me, I just felt like it was missing story, right? Like getting to know guys. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna travel and Coach T's gonna be doing a lot of traveling. We're gonna travel to schools, visit the school, get to see the area, see the school, and then meet the coach and get to know the coach and then have him present his presentations and those will go on to the online clinic so if you're watching this you want to see coach t's presentation he's doing his on uh, unbalanced wing t and they run their wing t entirely unbalanced so totally worth a watch there's coach coop good to see guys around that i know all right let's go meet coach t and his squad Cheap Pigs, Gang Nation, welcome to D. Champaign Central High School, home of the Maroons. We're known for physicality and running the football. Let's show you around. Right here we got some of the trophies. We've been playing ball since 1894. There's just some of the hardware that we collected. Let's go meet the coach, the man in charge. Coach T. Hey, what's up, Chief Pigs? Again, how we doing today, guys? to the weight room where we put in a little bit of work. We work four times a week. Right now we're working off the train here roller program. Uh, we work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, usually right after school for about an hour or so and we're done. Hey, what's up, Big Skin family? Welcome to Tommy Stewart Fieldhouse. Um, this is where we practice at. Check it, check it out a little bit. Our field, nothing real fancy, but it is definitely home. We kind of love it. Um, we're actually six blocks away from the high school, which gives us a great advantage because our kids are kind of secluded, not having very many distractions, so it really helps us out a little bit. If you look over a little bit further, we got a baseball field right out there. Um, and, and here in this next year, um, that's going to all change. They're, they're actually revit. They're actually revamping this whole area here. Um, this field here is gonna be turned this way, it's gonna be turfed. And then that outfield over there, which is baseball right now, is also gonna be a small field to practice on as well. So we're excited about the changes here. And you know, it's gonna take a little while. It's gonna take us about a year or so to get things uh, finished, but we're excited for it when it's ready to go. Uh, come on in, I'll show you our field house a little bit again. Like I said, this is Tommy Stewart Field House. Uh, Tommy Stewart is a legendary coach here at Central. Um, coach for 35 years or so. Um, just kind of going through the locker room, I'll take you guys on a quick tour. Um, as you see, it's pretty old. This building itself has been here, I want to say 60 years or so, but don't quote me on that, but it's been quite a while um, since this building right here has been here. But as you'll see, I've got a couple of different locker rooms, and, and one of the best things we were able to do is um, we split our team up into three groups and those three groups are in these three locker rooms and those three locker rooms are their houses and these houses are named for um, legendary coaches that have been around. So right now you're standing in the Tommy Stewart house in the Tommy Stewart field house. Um, let's get a little closer here real quick coach. I want to show you. So <laughs> Tommy Stewart, the man there in the middle. Like I said, for 35 years, he roamed the field around here. So, you know, there's some great history around here. Um, as we're going through here, I'm going to take you, before we go back to the other way, the other locker rooms there, I'll take you in through the weight room. Um, as you see, most of our facility is down at, at, at our school, and that's where we're able to put in the real work. But 
during the summer when we're, when we're uh, doing our summer camps and things of that nature, we're here. A lot smaller, but we're also able to get outside, do some things outside, which really help us out. Um, but it, again, a blessing to have our own stuff in our own facility. No one, act, no one from the school really uses it. Down here what we call the room room. Um, this is where the room I have set up for the kids to just kind of hang out. As I said, we have a locker room split into three houses and the general rule is you go in and out of your house um, and if you want to hang out with a teammate from the other house, then you don't go into their house, you come into the maroon room and hang out a little bit. Um, room room is where we've got a few games in here. You can see the trophies here. Um, you just really kind of let the guys hang out in here and have a good time. Two trophies here, uh, I'm gonna talk about in a few, few minutes. This one here is our Twin City trophy. This, this trophy we uh, received for beating the other two teams here in uh, Champaign, Urbana. Um, I won't really name those teams. Uh, <laughs> this one here is for beating one of the teams across town in Urbana, um, and it's called the Wright Street Trophy. So we got the Wright Street Trophy this season, and we got the Twin City Trophy. Um, it, I may be mistaken, but I, I want to say for the past five years or so, we've had both of the trophies, um, and I know for the past maybe uh, eight, ten years, we've had the Wright Street Trophy. Now you're in the major house. Coach Moyer, Coach Moyer coached here in Central from 1922 to 1943. So as you see, there's been a lot of history around here. Um, a lot of guys, a lot of coaches that have come in and, and, and stayed for quite a while. I hope I'm one of those guys. Still in the field house, but we're on top of the field house now. This is kind of where um, our coach's office is and our equipment room. Um, our coach's office, our equipment room, our film room, our team meeting room, that's this entire room. Um, as I said, we're going to have some renovations here in the next year, and we will have a room for all of those, a separate room for all of those coming here pretty soon. As you're looking through this mess, again, we're, we're uh, going to be moving out of this place so you know you see a lot of boxes and a lot of things to to try to get us moved um, so that's what you're seeing here's our equipment room nothing fancy but it is ours if you look back here coach there are a ton of old cleats and you know what one of the things that i've found is that Oftentimes, one of the things that keeps players from playing is they don't have that hundred bucks to go and buy a, few, a pair of cleats. So we always, any of the guys that as they're moving on, if you're not going to use those cleats, we ask you to keep them, we ask you to donate them to the program. Now, yeah, as you see right now, they're pretty messy. Before next season, we'll get them all cleaned up. They'll look as new as possible um, so that if any kids need to borrow them, they'll be able to. to be here with you coach T I think we're double checking and like this is kicking off the 2019 season we've had coach Scott from Eastern Illinois with us and you're our first high school coach on the 2019 online clinic so we're pumped to hear from you excited to be here coach and um, coach Turner took over here at Champaign Central after I left so we got the I had the pleasure of coaching this man for five years and I joke sometimes because coach Turner was was like number one workhorse assistant, without a doubt. So when I left, not only and he got the job, not only did he have to do my job, but he had to keep doing his my job. job right. <laughs> so coach, one minute summary, what was it like taking over your first program or taking over after me? Um, you know, coach, first, I, I was blessed to have the opportunity, but it was, I gotta be honest, a wild ride. Um, you hit the nail on the head when you said, not only did I have to do the head coach's job, but I also had to do the jobs that I was already doing. Um, you know, so for some ways it made, it made the transition a lot better because some of the things that I wanted to do we were already doing and it was one of the things, if some of the jobs that I was already doing, not that big of a deal. Um, but taking on the responsibility of the head coach, now having it be 
Not only do I have to decide <laughs> what's going to have happen, but then I have to go out and execute those things as well. Um, it made the thing made it a little more difficult, and we talked about it a little bit on camera uh, a couple of days ago on the show, and uh, I've got to figure out a way to be able to delegate some of these things a little bit better to my staff. I, you know, I've got a great group of guys that are, that are able to help and, and willing to help, and I, I just got to figure out a way to let go of some of it. I, I, I just, and, and I know I have to figure out a way to do that for next season if I plan to not have more gray <laughs> on my face. So. All right, so all right, let's start here. Okay, so Coach, your, your presentation today is on how and why we are unbalanced wing tee. Sure. Yep. All right, so yep. here's what I'm curious about to know. If you'd have got a head job before you met or worked with me, do you think you'd have been an unbalanced wing tee guy? <laughs> Um, you know, I, I'm being honest, probably not. Um, you know, I, I'll talk about it a little bit during my presentation, but I started coaching in youth football. And, and during those youth football days, we did do a little bit of uh, uh, wing T type of stuff, but it was more uh, single wing. But, um, and so I had a little bit of background in it, but you know, for this being the first year that I was the offensive play caller, I, I'm not sure that had I not had the success with you, had we not built this thing and, and, and I knew how successful it could be with my own eyes. You know, it's one thing to watch a program from afar and have some success with it because you think, well, they just got studs. I, I've been watching Kerry Grove, right? I, yeah. you know, I've watched those guys and they're really good all the time. And I, you know, you think, well, they just have some studs there, right? Um, but when you see it up close and live, I'm not sure why everybody doesn't run the ball like we do. I'm not sure why anybody would want to, and, and guys, you can comment if you choose to, um, but I'm not sure why anybody would want to spread that thing out and do all of those different things when if you run this wing team well enough, if you run it correctly, it's deadly. It's deadly. And then when we threw in, when I was able to put in this unbalanced a little bit, um, I think it really kind of kicked the thing up a little bit. Uh, you know, I'll talk about it a little, long, little further, but as I'm going through this and, you know, researching and putting this presentation together, I realize, yes, we, we were effective with, the, with the, our unbalance but there were so many times that I could have been better at it. Yeah. We could have used it even, you know, to our advantage even more. So I'm excited to see, after I've you know, made this presentation and kind of broke down some film a little bit, I'm excited to see what we can do with it next year, how we can, how we can advance it next year. So, so yes, that's the answer. I probably would not have done it. But again, in hindsight, having, having spent the year uh, doing it, I, I couldn't imagine playing some other style of offense. I, I truly can't, I could not imagine, um, you know, spreading that thing out and throwing the ball around. No, yeah, no way. We're wing T, baby. <laughs> We're wing T. That's what we do. <laughs> All right. So um, for everybody at home, if you could summarize what your presentation you're about to speak on is about in 20 seconds. In 20 seconds. How would you summarize it? Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about why and how we run our unbalanced wing tee here at Central. A lot of it is going to be about um, some of the things that I've noticed as I'm going through these things. You know, a lot, some of it is um, not the, the, the uh, shiny best plays. Some of, them, some of them are the plays that didn't work, right? Some of the clips that I have are plays that maybe didn't go as far as they, as, as they should have, but I'd like to go through them and kind of take a look and, and know. So as I go through and do my presentation, um, please feel free to, if, any of you got, if anybody wants to comment after the fact and post something and let me know some things that we could be doing better. I'm, I'm all up for that. Um, as, as I said, I'm, I'm, no, I'm no offensive guru. Um, I'm still learning, so. You wanna see Coach T's presentation, full clinic presentation on how and why we unbalance wing T. Link will be below. Check it out, guys.